How do I even begin talking about Avengers Infinity War? Well, I could talk about that, but then that reveals a major point in the story, which would be a spoiler, and I don't do that. Um, oh, I could start there. No, because then I'd have to talk about that and then do that. I could talk about the timeline. Nah, far too confusing. It's a difficult one, but I'm going to do it. First of all, as um, people who have been following my um, blog already will already know this, but those of you that haven't um, should know that none of my reviews ever contain spoilers. Uh, this one is a bit more difficult because um, it sort of engages you to talk about the story and um, you can't do that without revealing uh, quite a big um, spoiler. So um, I have to talk cryptically um, but also reflectively as well in this review. So we'll see how it goes um, and uh, you'll see my opinion towards the end of this video. So to quickly surmise the plot um, without revealing too many spoilers is basically to tell you what you already know um, if you've seen the 18 MCU movies, Marvel Cinematic Universe for those um, unknown to that. So it all started with Iron Man way back in 2008, hence why you'll see in the logo that it has 10 years um, stuck in the middle there. Each film has um, been designed to build up to this point um, in some way. So either that will be revealing a part of the big bad, which is Thanos, or one of the Infinity Stones. Some are more transparent than others, um, and I'll go into that in um, a little bit towards the end of the video, recommending films if you haven't seen um, the MCU or want to revisit um, some of the films, I'll recommend some films for you to watch um, to get you up to speed. The plot is quite complex. It has to deal with a number of different characters, a vast range across the Marvel Cinematic Universe, um, and has to entwine those stories uh, to make something more cohesive. It does fail a little bit um, from time to time, um, but Marvel does these films extremely well. As most people will probably agree, um, each film from the Marvel Cinematic Universe is great. Um, there doesn't seem to be um, a sort of a dud film. Um, some films are better, but um, there doesn't seem to be like the worst of the worst. Except for perhaps maybe Incredible Hulk which was a little bit bad. One of the things that I loved about this film was there were some really wow moments. Um, again, I can't talk about those wow moments without revealing um, major plot spoilers, um, but um, you're going to be really satisfied with some of the characters who get to shine um, in this movie, um, perhaps um, more so than they have in the past. One of the reasons why Infinity War is difficult to talk about is because of um, certain deaths that happen in the film. Um, I can't go into great detail about that, but um, if you know anything about the hype, uh, you will know um, certain characters are due to die in this, and um, yeah, that's all I really can say about it. The final thing that I want to talk about with regards to um, Avengers Infinity War is certainly in recent times with Guardians of the Galaxy and Doctor Strange bringing um, slightly lesser known comic book characters to the big screen, a big risk, um, really pays off, is that those films feel completely different to the core films that started all of this. And I'm talking about Iron Man, I'm talking about Captain America, Thor, and of course, Incredible Hulk. This one is no different. Um, the directors tried to do something um, and tell it from a uh, perspective that you don't necessarily uh, expect. Um, 
it doesn't quite do what I expected it to do, but um, it still brings a lot of depth to um, certain characters, uh, like I said before, that you, you just haven't seen. And um, that gives them a more rounded uh, feeling about them. Of course, with a film of this magnitude, you do have to ask yourself this question, where does the Marvel Cinematic Universe go from here? It's a huge movie, um, it's ambitious, and rightly so. But it's difficult to see where they will go from here. Of course, I might have said that when the first Avengers film came out. Um, I'm aware that all these other characters were going to be put into it. Um, but, yeah, it'll be interesting to see where they go. Um, they've got a plan and I want to see how it plays out, as I'm sure you will. See this if. Wow. I have never said such a more obvious thing at the end of one of my reviews. See this if you have seen the other Marvel movies. Uh, you're going to enjoy it. It's uh, right up your street. Um, I probably wouldn't advise you to watch it if it's your first Marvel movie. Um, but uh, here are some recommendations that might get you started before you watch uh, Infinity War. The first one is Captain America The First Avenger. Bit of a surprising one, I didn't rate this film um, highly on my list um, when I first saw it. Um, now reflecting upon it, you can see how it goes into the grand scheme of things. Um, but there were certain things that happened in this film that will help make sense um, a little bit later. My next recommendation is to watch Avengers Assemble. It's the first um, sort of team mashup movie and it sort of explains how the Infinity Stones start to gain traction. Guardians of the Galaxy is my third recommendation. Um, as I said before, it's a completely different movie. It takes you out of what you're used to, puts you in space um, with characters that you're not necessarily familiar with, uh, but it does uh, ground you uh, quite quickly and you get along with all the characters. It's become one of the more popular MCU movies. Um, this one is particularly important because it also um, gives a bit more backstory to the big bad, which is Thanos, um, as well as um, elaborating more on the Infinity Stones. Avengers Age of Ultron is my next recommendation. It's not hugely essential that you see this film, but it is uh, the one where um, another Infinity Stone comes into play. Um, and um, quite a big character is also introduced in this one. Um, I won't, you know who I'm talking about if you've seen Age of Ultron, um, but it's a good uh, film to sort of remind yourself with, uh, with regards to certain uh, plot points in Infinity War. Doctor Strange, I watched this um, before uh, going to see Infinity War a couple of days before. Um, it did help me out a little bit with regards to where that character uh, is in the film. Um, it certainly will help you out with the start of the film as well, uh, getting access into it. Finally, Thor Ragnarok, which is probably the funniest of the MCU. Um, this uh, leads directly into Infinity War. In fact, where this movie ends, Infinity War starts. So it's a good uh, way into Infinity War. So if you watch one film out of the MCU, watch Thor Ragnarok and you'll get launched straight into Infinity War. Please do like this video. Do share it if you want to. Um, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, on YouTube, uh, that would be a fantastic help. You'll see more content uh, if you do that, um, and I will love you forever. Yeah.